lot of the difficulties in our lives are because of our own sins, because we choose things over God. Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. Today is the second Monday of Advent and we hear that Jesus heals a paralytic man by forgiving him of his sins. I think a lot of the times we can get caught up in the psychology of our lives. I think we can blame our parents, our friends, bad relationships, traumatic experiences for why things are so crummy in our lives or why things seem to never really go our way. But the reality is, is a lot of the difficulties in our lives, and not all of them, but a lot of the difficulties in our lives are because of our own sins, because we choose things over God. Sometimes those things are good, but they're lesser goods. And when we choose things over God, when we commit sin, there's brokenness. That's always going to be the case. That's always been the case. But the healing ministry of Jesus Christ that you read about in scripture is still alive and well today. And it's very powerful. And it happens in the sacrament of reconciliation. The season of Advent is uh, one of penance. Uh, we, we wait in joyful hope uh, for the coming of the Messiah, for the birth of our Savior. But it's a time to, to, to do penance and to make sacrifice. And so I urge you this Advent... Um, if you feel any sort of paralysis in your life, whether it's in relationship, in work, and uh, in, in family life, I, I urge you to make a very, very good confession. Because it is in the confessional that really the, the, the chains that bind us, uh, that prevent us from living joyful lives, are broken. Christ is really present in the confessional and sins are really truly forgiven, undone, lost, forgotten. I think it was St. Gertrude the Great that uh, Christ appeared to and, and she asked, if you're Christ, um, or if it's really you, Lord, tell me the last mortal sin that I committed uh, or that I confessed. And he said he didn't remember. Now, the God of all creation didn't uh, forget because he has a bad memory. He chose, he willed to forget. How beautiful is that? God, God the, the Alpha and the Omega, wills to forget our sins when we bring them with a contrite heart into the confessional. Now, the Apostolate for Family Consecration Online has a very thorough and very good examination of conscience. And this Advent, if you haven't already, I urge you to sit down and prayerfully um, come up with a, a really good confession. I think we often underestimate how bound we are by our sins, how much they 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 harm us. And I think by, by bringing those into the light of the confessional this Advent, we can really truly prepare our hearts, our minds, our souls to receive the infant Jesus in that manger. Thanks for listening and God bless you.